Hey, what up, Decisive Marketers? So we're going to be talking about an e-commerce based WordPress team or WooCommerce team and it's called Bottega, right? So Bottega wise, uh, it has a couple of uh, interesting features that help you to, you know, create a e-commerce website uh, very very quickly uh, they've got some uh, really nice features uh, maybe let me just switch over to it right here um, they've got uh, so it's actually a free team uh, but they do have a pro version of it um, it's you know a uh, you know it has a very very clean design they've got a couple of uh, starter sites uh, and these uh, starter sites uh, are very focused on the brand stores right so if you run a brand focused e-commerce stores uh, Bottega is perfect for that so they've got some pro features right here which is uh, you can set up multi-step checkout you can have uh, product swatch uh, header styles sidebar positions galleries or so different kind of galleries login pop-ups uh, model pop-ups so this one comes with uh, pop-ups already right so that's uh, so you you don't have to use a separate pop-up solution they do have a wish list feature they have a uh, pagination or load uh, load more or uh, infinite scroll right okay and then uh, product tab styles so you can have different kind of product tabs uh, add to cards uh, sticky add to cards reviews uh, hooks right so those are the ones that they have Okay, so these all these uh, cool features right here, uh, and that's what it comes with in the pro version. Okay, so they have a couple of demos right here. Uh, let me just open this up, and uh, um, I um, we actually have done a. Uh, let me just kind of pull this up right. So, so we can actually load the page up right here and you can see that it loads uh, in two minutes let me just uh, in sorry two seconds right so the page loads up in two seconds right so that's how uh, you know clean the the uh, the team is right and in fact uh, it should be slightly uh, faster than two seconds in fact because it is loading this uh, a teams header which should not be part of the uh, you know the the uh, page itself right so you know it could be loading even faster with uh without this this part right here right so this this uh you know this team is very uh you know as they say very clean co clean coded okay and uh i so over here you know we have uh, installed the uh, starter sites they have currently only three different starter teams so it's a little bit limited if you are looking for a team that you know you have a site design that is ready to go this is um, highly lacking at the moment so if you're looking for a, a solution where it's plug and play this is not the best one to go to go with uh and you can see that the uh, team styles is very um brand focused so you can see right here this is the first one where it's come some kind of skincare uh, products and this one is maybe some kind of fashion store this one is a furniture store right uh but what i feel is uh they don't have any super mud kind of uh, design right something like Amazon or eBay style of teams so that's what is a little bit missing in my opinion okay and we can jump into the team dashboard right here okay so these are all the different features so let me see how it works right so product swatch can we see if we can create some settings on it okay so it looks like it's all in the uh, team customization uh, page itself 
so then this this team itself I would say would be very easy to use because everything is all in there okay so they do have um, some recommendations right here okay so there we go right so okay, it takes a while to look because I don't have a good connection right here okay so it's over here so we have the product swatch uh, section right here where you can enable and uh, disable it so what I recommend is that if you don't need these features uh, it is best that you deactivate them so that it keeps your site uh, your page request smaller it loads a little bit faster right um, you know they have a lot of uh, features all built in right here okay so uh, you can you know if you don't need it you can just turn this off uh, let's say you you know the uh, sticky add to cart if you don't need it you can turn it off uh, the layout so this is like the gallery style so whether you're gonna allow uh, zoom effects okay so if you don't need that you can turn it off and then the uh, thumbnail slider um, you know if we, you likely kind of want that uh, and then you can choose different design and then if you want to have breadcrumbs if you don't you can turn it off okay so there are uh, and then your product tab styles you can choose from different styles of the tabs okay uh, let's see so like header styles header layouts okay distraction free checkout page so I think this one is uh, important important uh, because that's what I would focus on as well because a uh, distraction free checkout page is very important to have um, uh, you know a, a, a highly converting checkout page right so this will be the checkout page and then you know this will be the design of it so if you don't need right so they allow you to customize the uh, WooCommerce form right here so if you don't want you can hide it uh, and then address line too if you don't need it you can hide it okay and if you want to collect the phone number which I would say most people will need that okay so you can set that up you can choose from different checkout page design as well right so this one is the multi-step checkout as well right so you got this building details and then you move on to the next step and then you fill in and then the order review okay so personally um, I don't I don't really enjoy this one because there's an order review page I will you know that's an extra step in my opinion it will be best for them to just quickly go through it and uh, just make payment right and then this would be a different style of the checkout page so they have a lot of different uh, checkout styles uh, you've got your wish list right here as well okay so what I can see is that most of the uh, cool features are in the pro version right so you got your product swatch this wish list um, those are the ones that you know uh, the distraction free checkout page the sticky uh, add to cut buttons those are the ones that I would say are useful And then you got different wish list styles, I, I guess. So I guess that's all I have to say about Botiga, right? It's a, it's a, it's an e-commerce solution. Um, right now, it's you know the pro version is going at a very good price. I think it's about 
$149 if I'm not wrong and you get a lifetime unlimited site license so you can use this on multiple different e-commerce stores so what I think about Bottega is that um, uh, the first thing you need to consider is uh, is that WordPress itself is moving towards a more uh, block based builder right so even your header and footer you can build them with blocks right now so you don't even need a team in fact because uh, of the new WordPress update you can have full site editing with Gutenberg uh, blocks so uh, I think that's one thing to consider but even so I would say that people who are currently using teams right now let's say Cadence team Bloxy team, Astra team, uh, Generate Press team, all the, the all the different teams. The reason why we are still using teams is because of the features that comes with it, right? So uh, even if WordPress moves to focus heavily on full site editing, a lot of people will still be using teams for now because of the features built into these teams, right? Uh, so that's something to consider if you're going to be buying a team in today's age uh it will not i i do think that it's not going to last it's not going to be relevant for many many years ahead maybe in the next five years four or five years um it's been like four years if i'm not wrong four or five years since the release of the blog editor uh, but not everyone is still moving to the blog editor yet while we are already having the full site editing right so uh, you know even if you are you plan to stay in using teams you know I would think that you still are able to use teams for the next four to five years because there will be some time uh, needed for people to change and adapt and the next thing is uh, I think that it is missing some critical features number one would be the brands so a e-commerce team should come with brand features I think that's important and, and I think that another one that they could add would be question and answers features in the single product layout pages right uh, I would suggest to have those kind of features built into Bottega um, otherwise you know it 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 does uh, I think that the features for the pro is a little bit uh, limited uh, and I think that of course uh, the biggest selling point about Bottega right now compared to let's say Cadence uh, is that it is priced more friendly uh, but they do need to add a lot more starter sites for most people to use um, I personally don't build my sites from uh, starter sites itself but having those uh, you know most people would build their sites from starter sites so I think that that would be a very important uh, thing to have right more different teams more different templates I would say of uh, starter sites so that's all I have to say about Bottega overall um, I think it's still being offered at a good price um, I think that they would do a little bit better if it could be slightly cheaper than uh, this price right now because uh, considering that teams are slowly being uh, phased out uh, you know that is something that they should consider if they are looking for more users uh, more users and uh, you know that's all I have to say if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up if you know anyone who could benefit from a e-commerce or WooCommerce uh, team be sure to share this video with them and lastly let me know what you think about Bottega in the comments below I'll see you in my next video bye bye